Hey everybody and welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 43. In this tutorial we are going to add some functionality to our model as far as being able to move it around, uh, rotate it, uh, make it look at a certain position, etc. Now before we do that, there are a couple things I'd like to add to the camera and I'm pretty much going to copy and paste from the camera after we do this. Now I don't remember what my reasoning was, but before I had only made a set position, for all of these um, functions, for the arguments I either had a vector or I had three floats. But I didn't have the option for a float three, so I'm going to add that for each of these. For adjust position, we'll have a float three. For set rotation, we'll have a float three. And then for uh, adjust rotation, we will have a float three. Let's go ahead and create these definitions. And the way these work will be very similar to uh, our other uh, functions that we had for this kind of functionality. All right, so let's go to back to the camera header. And let's see what we'd like to copy into our model class. Well, we want to store the position and rotation. We want to store um, our forward, back, left, right vectors. Uh, that could be useful. So let's see. First, let's copy the position and rotation. Let's go to our model header. And we'll just put these at the end for now. And now let's look at these uh, vectors for the direction. Put those in. And lastly, all of these functions. So we want to be able to get our vectors. We want to be able to set the look at position, adjust the rotation, set the position, and then we'd like to be able to get in to get the position and rotation. So let's go over here and let's paste these in. Now eventually we might make a, another class that these just inherit from that has the shared functionality, but for now I uh, figured we just copy and paste it and we can change it later. It's not a big issue if we have to change it. So if we go into our model CPP and we want to add all of these new functions, we will need to go to our camera CPP and copy these. Let's see. So everything from get left vector up to these get position vector function. We're going to paste it, and then we're going to do a replace. So we'll hit Control H, change it to current document. We're going to replace camera with model. So we will hit replace all. It says it replaced 21 occurrences. Let's see, do we have any problems? Okay, update view matrix. This will become update world matrix. So actually we can just do another uh, replace update view matrix, update world matrix, and make sure that current document is selected, not entire solution, because then that would mess up all of our camera stuff. So if we go up to our update world matrix, this is uh, what we will want to change next because now we need to take into account our position and our rotation of this model and then we also need to update the forward left right and back vectors for this model so what we will do is we will call um, rotation roll pitch yaw and this is going to rotate the model by our rotation about the x-axis our rotation about the y-axis and our rotation about the z-axis and then we're going to multiply that by our translation uh, matrix, which this is going to actually move the model out to wherever its position is. Next, we are just rotating all of our vector directions to know which uh, direction they are going. And the last thing is just in our initialize, let's see. Before we call update world matrix in our initialize, let's just set our position to default it to zero. And let's set our rotation to zero. 
So if we go up to our graphics CPP and we go to where we were initializing our model, first let's test this and see where our model is on the screen. All right, you see, you see it's in the center of the screen. So we could do something like uh, model dot set position. We can move it uh, to the right. Oop, forgot a comma there. All right, you see now the model is off to the right. Uh, just to demonstrate one more thing. Let's say that we want the model to uh, rotate, right? Let's say we just want it to rotate in circles. We could do something like uh, go up to our graphics header. Now, in the future, we will separate our model and the actual game object, and the actual game object will store the positional data. But for now, it's going to be stored in the model. So we can put the model and uh, make it public so our engine can access it. And then down in our engine CPP, where we have this uh, update loop, we could just rotate the model by some amount here. We could do model dot adjust rotation. And we want it to rotate about the Y axis. So we could do something like that multiplied by delta time 0.001. That might be too fast, we'll see. And if we test this, then we should see it spinning in circles. All right, and there we go. You see, we see our model and it's spinning in circles and all is good in the world. Now, the only thing that sucks about our model is it's just a cube and it's hard coded to be a cube. So we are done with this tutorial, but in the next tutorial, we are going to begin looking at uh, loading in model data from an OBJ file. Now, OBJ is a very common file format, but it has a lot of drawbacks. One issue is that OBJ files are text-based. They're not binary files. So it's very slow to go through and parse them. The way the data is laid out is also also makes it very slow. They don't support animation data, so that's bad. But one good thing about them is as far as parsing, they are relatively simple compared to some of the other formats like FBX, which are a big pain in the butt to parse. So what we're probably going to do is over the next few tutorials, we will be loading in an OBJ file and once we have that loaded in, we will create our own 3D file format probably that has our data stored out in a way that's easier for us to use. And then after that, we will probably get into normals and basic lighting.